Hey guys, so today I wanted to show three really quick and easy hairstyles that I tend to gravitate towards um, when my hair is looking terrible or anything like that. These hairstyles are super easy to achieve. Some, you just need a hair tie or an elastic. And then the other hairstyles, you're just gonna need some body. So the first one is a side ponytail and we all know that we could just take our hair and throw our hair into a hair tie like this but that's no fun and it doesn't look chic and it doesn't look you know um fancy or anything and then you could just see the giant elastic to change it up a bit and kind of make it a little more so chic. first look you want all of your hair to be to one side so mine happens to be to my left side and you want to take all the hair and make sure that it's all neat so brush through it if you have to. And then I'm going to split my hair into two sections. And I'm gonna pull the back section over the front section and around the front section and then pull it through the little hole that should be there. Um, that's sh like the hole between the first section and the second section. And then you want to pull your knot nice and tight. Then I'm going to take a bobby pin just to secure it. And I'm just going to secure it right in the back. I'm going to put it up right there in the middle of the back. Then you're going to do the same exact thing. You're going to take the back piece. Take it. Pull it around the front piece. And in. And knot it again. And I have a little piece, a little extra piece. So I'm just gonna take that, put it to the back, and pin it. Just like that. And now it's all nice and secure. If you have shorter pieces hanging on the side or something that's gonna fall out, all you gotta do is pull it. Pull it to the back. Pull it to the back and clip it. And then it should be pretty secure. And then it just looks like a really cute um, couple of knots. And it is way more chic than just a regular side ponytail if that's what also, you Also, it's really, really thin down here. If you like the look of the thin thing, then that's cool. But I like to spread the hair out and tease it up. And I don't even use a tape for this. I just use a brush and just tease it all like crazy like that just tease it tease it tease it to make it look like a crazy rat's nest and then kind of brush it down and this gives you a little bit more fluff in your hair rather than just having that uh little pony also if you don't want bangs go ahead bobby pin the bangs and it's a nice clean cleaned look and that is how I do look number one okay now look number two is really easy it might be the easiest of all uh, three of it is also a ponytail so what I, you're gonna need is an elastic for this look or a hair tie in this case I'm just gonna use my hair tie but what you want to do is you want to pull all of your hair to the back of your head All of your hair to the back of your head and take that elastic and put the elastic around your hair like you would a regular ponytail so right now your hair just pretty much looks like a normal ponytail take your hair split it part it down the middle like that part it as far as you want take your hair on through then you have two little knots in the back of your hair around. even if you wanted to do like a more dramatic bang or anything and then it looks like just your average ponytail from you know this view but then you turn around and it's so nice really nice and has that little cute thing and it's again not just a regular ponytail and it's more put together and more nice so that is look number two and literally the easiest 
Look, you could tease the ponytail, you could curl the ponytail, anything like that. Look, number three is a, you could actually do it down or up your hair, or half up, half down, however you want, but uh, for this uh, video, I'm just gonna be doing it, uh, my hair down. There are those days where I just want my hair down, but I don't want it like this. So look number three will accommodate that, if that's what you want. So with my hair down like this, I'm going to move my bangs just a little, like the hair framing my face. And I'm gonna take about this, this section of hair, and so like this section of hair, and I'm going to go ahead and braid it to, toward the opposite side. So we're not braiding it down, we're braiding it toward this side. Now, um, <gasps> now, um, the braids that I have, now it's going to stick around like that. Like, it's not going to fall like a braid would because you are doing, you braided it the opposite side. And you're going to go on the other side and do the exact same thing that you did on this side. You're going to take a piece of your hair, section it from here, um, Pull it this way and braid it this way, and it should do the same thing, so it should look like you have two braids there. So let's do that. And the sections don't have to be exact or match up exact or be the exact same size because, again, this is just a simple look that you are going to be putting together quickly. It's something that you just kind of want to run out the door with. But then you'll have two braids that look like that and you want to cross them over. Now pull all your hair back right now and cross this braid over, this one, and whichever one happens to just fall in the front or be uh, closer, do that with. Alright dude, you gotta leave me alone. And then they look like that. So then you want to find where you started the braid on the other side and pin your hair. Now you might need multiple pins for this. You may need just one. Um, when I used to do this for school, I always did two pins to secure it and I kind of crossed them in an X. Then you want to take the other braid and I'm going to actually do this one. Just for security, put the other one across it in an X. Then I kind of move it back, kind of mess with it. That is the third look, and it really does mimic those um, headbands that you can put in your hair, the braid ones that you can put in your hair. But one, sometimes people can't find the right color to match there, so this is a perfect alternative. You can use your own hair. And two, those headbands can give you such a headache that it's unbelievable so for this this doesn't give you a headache at all I've never I I used to do this a ton for school <clears throat> and this has never ever ever once given me a headache ever because it's just two secure body pins or however many body pins you want to use but it's just um, really really nice so this is the third look I love it it's so cute sometimes I would curl my hair with it it looks so cute with it looks so cute with your hair curled or you could just do it like this with your hair straight or however you want again or just like one, two, three hairstyles. This may be the longest one, but one, two, three hairstyles and you're out the door and you look so cute and so put together. If you love these hairstyles, please give this video a thumbs up if you liked this video and thank you so much for watching.